In this week's video performance, I'll be going through a routine of five cards. You'll see the routine and then you'll see a video breakdown showing step by step of every move I did, how I did it, when I did it, and why I did it. The rest of the deck disappear. What's your name? Jacob. Jacob. Nice to meet you. Go ahead, take any card, Jacob. Alright. Go ahead, take any card you want. It's Kathy. Who? Go ahead, take any card you want. Savannah. Pass it down. No, hang on. Go ahead, person. take any card you want. It's Nathan. So we have, we have four people with cards? Yeah. No, well, three. Four. No, four. Four. No, four. four. Jacob, Kathy, and Savannah. And Nathan. Nathan. Right. And, and, and so, check it out. Okay. So we got five people with cards. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. Pick yours. Right here. Pick yours. Right here. I don't expect you guys to memorize everyone's card. Just remember yours, okay? Just remember yours. Alright, so check it out. Again, five cards. Just remember yours, alright? I'm going to try to find them one at a time. And when you see your card, you have to go crazy. Oh, Jacob would be good with that. All right, cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so look. I'm going to do, mix these up. And so we have five cards. I'm going to have to try to do this in an interesting way. There we go. Feels good. How about that? Yeah, I'll do that in slow motion. Michael Jackson. <laughs> you never told us you could dance. It's full of surprises. There we go. Alright, so the first card, your card, I think it's about 20, 28 cards down from the top of the deck. So look, if I do that, boom. Oh! Yay! Yay! <laughs> there you go. Here, hold on to that. Okay. Here, hold on to that. Um, Yay. I'm not sure if you're done yet, though. Hold on. No, no, I, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to think who's... What, who, yeah, who else had cards? Can't think. Kathy said Savannah and... Okay, so I'm here. All I want you to do is put up both your hands like this. Like a table. Perfect. Just like that. Watch. What I'm going to do... Is to hold on to it, keep completely still. Watch, you guys are talking about something like that. Oh! <laughs> oh Can you leave? Oh, that's creepy! Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my Here's what I'll do. Yeah, stay right here. I'll you can see through the deck. Don't sit down, Sean. Watch out, Jacob. Got one card between the two of them. Six of diamonds. Oh my god! Hey! Hey! Oh my god. Oh. 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 Right. Oh. Right, so I'm here. Hold on to these three. What I think I did with what I think I did with your card actually is I may have put it right here. Oh. With your card instead, is make the rest of the deck disappear. The card split, but this is actually a factory seal ball. Uh, <laughs> Are you didn't drink it? No, nope, never before open. I don't want to. <laughs> So I need someone to pick the nine of hearts. The first try fails and you can already see I readjust the deck and I have a break right here in the cards just above the nine of hearts. Take any card you want. Fail. But it's okay. I know I have three other attempts to get someone to pick the nine of hearts 
And right on my third try, it's done. So I know I need to come back to her first. So when I put all the cards back in the deck, hers is at the very bottom because the nine of hearts is already in a sealed bottle in my left pocket of my leather jacket. Now this particular effect is using a lot of methods. It's using the classic force. It's using the card spring tutorial, the jack in the hole, the loops, the haunted deck. So make sure to go back and watch tutorials for the classic force, the card spring, the just card control in general, uh, false cuts tutorials. There's a lot of methods and effects that go into this. So make sure you go back and watch the tutorials you need to to achieve this effect. Oh, Jacob would be good for that. So here's the push and slide move. It's blocked by Jacob's head. But now all five cards are on top of the deck. And I go through a few false cuts and shuffles. Borrowing pretty much this routine from Dynamo. This whole routine was inspired from Dynamo in his five card performance. But I thought adding the water bottle was a nice touch. He usually uses four cards, so I just added the fifth. <laughs> so thanks Dynamo for the inspiration. Right here I need to do the long distance spinner, the, the card spring rather. And so you can see me actually bend the cards and riffle them to make sure there's a nice crimp in the deck allowing me to spring the card up nicely so I can catch it. Yay! Yay! <laughs> there you go. Here, hold on to that. Okay. Here, hold on to that. Um, right here, as I'm confused, misdirecting, you can see me look at my wrist and peel off the loop and place it around the one card that's coming next. Right there in my hand. So now I cut it into the deck, pretty much sandwiching it between a loop and the rest of the deck. It's put up both your hands like this, like a table, perfect, just like that. Watch. So even though it's right up close, they won't, they can't see the loop, even in this nice lighting setup. And watch right here. I make sure I readjust the deck because their cards, the three remaining cards, are actually on the bottom portion. And you can see me reverse the cut right here. So now I have the three remaining cards on top, and I actually take the loop, put it back around my wrist, making sure not to break it, because those loops are fragile. And you can buy them at penguinmagic.com. That's where I get mine from. I've gone through 13, but it's okay. So I sandwich the third card between the two spectators cards that we've already collected, riffle through the deck, and right here, you can see me kind of lose settings because the cards spread out, so I need to try to readjust the deck to where I think and hope the two remaining spectators cards are on top. So be careful when you're doing the riffle, because it can get messed up like that. And here you can even see me peel off the top two cards, because I know the nine of hearts is in the water bottle. And so in doing that, I saw that the nine of hearts was in fact on top. The cards are in the right order. Six of diamonds. Oh my god! But here it is again, really quick. This really quick push off move, right? There. So I know the deck is in the right order. I palmed off all the cards. I have one card in my hand, allowing me to pull out the water bottle and the pre torn paper on it, making it easier to tear so I don't fumble across it. But you can see clear as day in my right hand that I only have one card. But the depth perception of the angle of you tipping your hand forward and down at their eyes is what will create the illusion that you have the whole deck. Now all that's left is the thumb snap on the brim with your thumbnail on the brim of the water bottle make it sound like a factory sealed bottle. Along with some struggle. Take your bow. <laughs>